the handball league. It's over, finally. I mean, handball, or like football, the league has been running uh, for the last uh, few years now. Smoothly, you know when consistently. It starts, you know when it ends. And you know, the, so champions. Easy. the champions. I know abridged guesses, champions. Just, Have they had yeah. abridged champions before? Yeah, well, what they're having right now, you know, they have face one and face two. They can't do the home <laughs> and away. Why are you laughing? They can't they can actually, you know, afford the home and away. Uh, games oh, right now simply because we know teams are struggling. We know some teams even find it difficult to come down to Lagos and play all the faces. I thought you say you so, know how it hands, you know. No, that's starts. what I'm saying. It's structured. Yeah. That's my point. Oh. Not to be, it's structured in the sense that, you know, okay, uh, they'll say, okay, Division 1 is going to start December and you know that Division 1 is starting December and you know that 2 are going to, you know, uh, get promotion into the top flight and all that. That's the point I'm making. But let's get back to the games. Yeah, let's get back to the game. Just to quickly say that it's players, not yeah. the same thing yeah, with running football. Mm -hmm. um, and ball, you can pick. I mean, kudos to Ocheo and the team. You can put, put everybody in one place and just play the league. Yeah. It's That's totally the different. Yeah, but so, the point, the point that we're trying yeah, to make I is the league the, is. I can pick the old. They've got a league. It is structured. Yes. yes. Fantastic. Yeah, and, it's fantastic. Running. and it's running. And it's running. Exactly. Good for them. But then again, if you look at. It's not logistics. The same. So that's, that's why they now. can't well, the play the home and the win. No, they, they can't afford Find to do that. Find out their results are on your okay. screen there, Cecilia. Yeah, Owena Kings and Prison Key Boys. It was Owena Kings who won this. Lagos Seasiders and Sokoto Rima. Lagos Seasiders winning. Ghana, please. And Edu Dynamons it was tied. Uh, Carter Stars and Plateau Vipers also tied. Emo Grasshoppers and Seasiders, babe, 27 21. And they won that one, 22-21. Yeah, yeah Plato Vipers they have a loss. <laughs> okay, that's what it's looking like, the final day result. Seasider Babes and Emo Grasshoppers to Seasider Babes are losing to Emo Grasshoppers. But the bottom, but the bottom line, line is, is, is Canopillas Pillars and Safety, Safety Babes, Babes are the champions of the 20. 90 handball league for canopillas it was a difficult game for them because they over they had to overcome defenders 29 to 21 mm -hmm. to win the main category with 38 points two points above safety shooters who defeated uh defending champions niger united uh, by 34 to 29 to finish in second position with 36 points. So it's all about Canopillas on the day. They needed this win and they got it. And they are champions. The thing about this season is that you couldn't even decide who was going to win until the final day. Yeah. Went mean, down, down to the wire. Very competitive. Down to the wire. Uh, pretty good. One of the things I've noticed lately, though, is that uh, most of our club sites have uh, run a sports institution like sporting clubs. Yeah. In court. Or in court. Yeah. Always doing better, always doing well. Mm. And and uh, I mean we should give kudos to whoever is in charge of Kano Pillars Sports Club. Sports, sports Club. Mm. Yeah, football, basketball. You, basketball. you mentioned basketball, they're there, Champions. you mentioned handball, they're yeah. in the mix. So it's it's really kudos, good. Kudos I, I, I think deserved, I mean yeah. coming out uh, you know, going into the season and then winning at the end of the season, mm. it's it's really, really commendable. Probably this will spur other teams, you know, to be a bit more organized. Have a yeah, sports just club. a little more organization. A little more organization, yes. and then you get results yeah. in different uh, on different fronts. So it's 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 really good. It's really good Stop. to see. Look, this. At, I mean, the look at the trophy. Uh, very solid. Yeah, Stanley uh, Cup. I was told that. I was, I was told that yeah, like Confetti in the air as well. I was told that their prize no, money as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for the winner. So uh -huh. it's 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 encouraging. Well, oh, encouraging. So congratulations to Canopila. Let's take the post match reaction of the Pillars uh, head coach now. Uh, sometimes when you play in the league, it's a difficult thing, you know. So last year we were six, and when we we got back home, we just felt what are those things we needed to do as a team. And uh, we went back to the drawing board with the management, uh, with the leadership of our chairman, Alej Brian Galadima. I said, hey, come on, you must, I must have a good team this year. And here we are, uh, good team, man. Uh, 2019 Premier League uh, champions. Sometimes it's not getting to the top, it's sustaining the top. Uh, we we hope to, and uh, with the management we have, we can keep this group of players uh, for next season. Players move for greener pastures, and you can't stop them. Maybe they have a better offer, you can't stop them. But we hope to to keep this group of players for next season. For now, I'm a pillar through and through. Uh, but you know the job as it is. But uh, you cannot live where you are comfortable with. So I'm comfortable in pillars, and. Uh, I, I 
and you will see me next year by his grace. Uh, Solomon Yola, that's head coach of Canopy Laza. I'm finding it very interesting talking about his future. Yeah. Just not so, a few you minutes were, after was, winning. I was asked the question. And he said, <laughs> I'm Look, wondering why they're I'm asking happy. me. I'm happy, I'm comfortable here. Like, I just want to stay why here. Why the question? For now. Yeah. yeah, why yeah. the question? You need to because people are moving for greener pastures. You mentioned yeah, it. Yeah. That's why for players. Yeah. So, like, if players are moving for greener pastures, what about you? What about you? What happens to you? But so, killers. But yeah, Pilar's, but for now he's uh, the fans, here. It's fine. Yeah. He said it's comfortable. No reason to move, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right then. Okay. Uh, let's also get reactions from defenders who lost that one 29-21. Obviously, the coach is not happy. Premier Handball League this uh, edition is highly competitive. The journey started in April, and thank God for His grace that we're able to come to see the end of the phase two of the Prudent Energy. If you look at the difference in points between the teams. The first, the second, the third to the fifth is just uh, a slight difference of two, three points between them. So it shows that the standard is very high and we are very happy for the Humble Federation of Nigeria as a whole for putting this competition to this level. It is highly recommended. Uh, as for the civil defenders, we are doing our best. Most of uh, the players that you see, they are personnel of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps and uh, it's just one or two volunteers that are within us. So we try as much as possible to get sportsmen recruited and the core is doing its best to see that it's encouraging sportsmen in the area of recruitment. So I believe by the grace of God, the recruitment that is coming up, the Commander General is very, very, you know, spirited in employing sportsmen so that to boost this game. In fact, uh, in, the, in the sports today generally, civil defense is the first to reckon with and we are very proud of that. Okay, that's the captain of Defenders. He's happy with what uh, the Federation have been able to do. And also the fact that, okay, they may not have won it, but then better luck next time. Let's talk about the women and for the girls, uh, safety babes. They were the ones who are champions this time around. They had a fantastic run and were able to celebrate their title, beating defending champions Plateau Peacocks 31-29. It was a pulsating game. 31 20, and that's mm. so close mm. by two Just points. Two points. Yeah. Incredible. It's, it's, it's the win in the matters. <laughs> Whether it's a <laughs> point or a half a point, it don't really matter. So, <laughs> congratulations to Safety Babes uh, for clinching uh, the women's uh, title in the Handball Premier League. Let's listen to, uh, let's get reactions now, you know, after that victory from Safety Babes. Put in more effort. Our training we extended, we trained harder, we came prepared, and then we came thinking only of winning, not coming second, but want to take back our position, which we have been for several years. For us, the safety babes, we were only thinking of winning because we came prepared. So we were not scared of anything. We came, we gingered ourselves. We trained well and we came all out to play and win the game. We will keep training well to come better and better every year because we must lift the trophy every year. You know, women had a lot of challenges. Marriage, childbearing, a lot of things drag others down. And then sometimes parental. Some parents don't want their daughters to involve in sport activities. But as I talk to you, sport is one thing that keeps youths going. It keeps your mind up and doing and then for the women i think we are doing well here those of us that are here and i advise the younger ones to follow suit there you go there that's a, a player uh, for safety babes they, they actually uh won that particular game 31 to 29 second uh was a do dynamos finishing with 30 points uh, after they played a 31 to 31 draw uh but for um for the, I mean, there's a lot, a lot has been said about, uh, you know, the, the federation. That's because they, they seem to be working and, yeah. and they deserve, even though it's their job, but sometimes they just need, need to give them that pat on the back for a job <laughs> well done. Just encourage them. Exactly, just encourage this, them a bit. This whole style circle. Yeah. You know, to run sports style. effectively. Effectively, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, this whole style circle. I feel if you see people coming up with something, no matter how difficult, just to get in result at the end of the day, then give them a pass on the back. That's because, it. I nothing mean, wrong with that, right? There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. And I think that, I mean, I said it earlier that kudos to Sam Mucho and the team. And fortunately, I think with what people of, people like them are doing, 
They've also uh, made some other sports to move, wake up. To, you know, to wake up. We hardly hear of Taekwondo doing anything. We hardly hear of chess coming up with anything. But lately, even cycling, we've seen All people coming up with something. Events. So it's not, I mean, forget that narrative of, oh, we don't have the good environment, we don't have yes. government support. Just get things done. Okay. okay. All right, talking about the president, let's like, mm. just, just hear from him. What do you have to say concerning this season and how they're preparing for the next phase this year, which is going to be Division 1, where some teams will get promotion into the top flight. Safety Babe successfully dethroned Patu Peacocks, mm. while um, the Canopilla successfully dethroned uh, Ninja United. Uh, I'm glad to have new champions. It shows that the game is growing. It shows that the game doesn't, I mean, nobody's a monopoly of the game, so we are glad. I think this year there were lots of upsets. There was no clear winner till the last day. Uh, the games, the display of games was at a high level. Uh, we had provided insurance for the teams. Everything, if you ask me, I think even the arrangement and the logistic this year is significantly better than what it was last year. We all want to play on a home and away basis, but the logistics is not as easy as it is. Most of these clubs are still struggling uh, to fund themselves financially, and they're even struggling to come for this one that is in two phases. You can imagine what it will be if we play home and away.